Hi everyone, I'm Ellie, founder of Code of the Future, and today we're going to be testing your knowledge in object-oriented programming by giving you a little task that you can be getting on with, and then I'll be showing you the answers to it in this video. So as usual, I'm going to put my glasses on and move you onto the screen. Okay, perfect. So we are in PyCharm, and I'm just going to give you a little task to do. So I'm going to say, can you create a vehicle class using object oriented programming and the things that I want you to include are can you include in your initializer the colour of the car how old the car is and how many seats this car has now it's up to you whether you specialise your class as vehicle as vehicle like this or whether you put car the reason i include vehicle is just because then you can you know change it to whatever you want so it doesn't specifically have to be a car but you know if you want it to be a car then perfect but here you could change it to a bike or a train anything like that so i'm going to give a 10 second pause now pause the video give it a go yourself uh, and then in 10 seconds i'll be showing you exactly how to do it Okay, perfect. So, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create the vehicle, the class. We're going to call it vehicle, and this is just because you could change this to, you know, you can incorporate the vehicle to be uh, cars, trains, bikes, literally any vehicle you want. You could have written car here. It's completely up to you, whatever you wanted. So we've got the class vehicle. We're going to define the initializer, which is very, very important. We've got self. Now, I asked you for the colour of the car, how old the car is, and how many seats the car has. So in the initialiser, I'm going to say, we'll say, colour of car. Now, this could be vehicle, again, doesn't have to be a car. Age of car. And seats in car. Now, I understand these variables are particularly long. You don't have to have such long variables. It just makes things a little bit easier when you understand what you're actually coding uh, in Python. So we're going to say self.color. Now, you can spell this the American spelling. Uh, I'm just British, so I don't. <laughs> we're going to say color of car. We'll say self.age is going to be age of car. Then self. Dot. What did we have? We had seats is seats in car perfect so we've set up the initializer method there and what i'm going to show you now is how you can set up some methods to produce you know the color of the car age of the car seats in the car uh, two of the things at the same time uh, and just some other things as well that you can include in this uh, and if you did so then extra bonus points to you so let's create a method so we'll call it color and we're just going to say return the colour of the car is in a format and we're just going to say self.colour. Perfect. Now we can do exactly the same for the age. So very simply return the age of the car or whatever vehicle you wish is. We'll put dot .format and we'll say self.age. Perfect. And finally, we'll say seats, excuse the typing, and we'll say return, there are seats in the car. And we will dot format self dot seats. So all we're doing here is we're basically taking whatever we input into the initializer. So we will create a variable shortly with this class and whatever we input into the class is what will be returned when we then recall these methods and just for a little bit of a bonus point um i guess we could say something like define we'll say car life left which you may think what does that mean basically what i've decided to do is add something a little bit crazy in here uh, it's not that crazy <laughs> you may think it's definitely not crazy at all however what i decided to include is say we've got the age of the car let's say the average life expectancy of a car is 50 years it's probably it's definitely probably longer than that we'll say 50 years so what we're going to say is return and we'll just stick with the notation so we'll have the the 
quotations similarly for a string you could use them but it doesn't really matter we're just going to stick with what we've done in the above so this car has and we'll format and we'll put years left on the road and we'll just put dot format and what we're going to put here is let's say the expectant spe life expectancy of a car is 50 years let's say we'll just say 50 minus self dot age of the car okay so there we go we've created a few you know methods in this vehicle class and now all i'm going to do is we're going to create the variable so let's create let's say the car equals vehicle and inside here as it says it should pop up there we want the color of the car so let's say it's red let's and i'll just put that lowercase then what did what else did we want in this vehicle age of the car so let's say the age is 30 and the seats let's say there are four seats in this car so now when i say re when i go to recall this variable i can say car dot so we can say car dot uh let's say we want how long the car has left so car life left and let's say car dot seats um and let's say we also want the color so car dot color and we obviously want to print all of these things so i realized that we could have incorporated the print into the into the uh methods itself but what's really handy with this is that you remember whether you need to print or you don't depending on the method so let's test our knowledge and and i've just realized very quickly i've noticed here that i've defined the functions similar to what we have in the self dot so i'm just going to put a little underscore under these um into the same as in our functions so what i'm just going to do here is i'm just going to put a little underscore under all of these and we'll just change them accordingly here so self dot color self.age and self.seats perfect there we go and we'll just put an underscore there as well perfect so let's run this python file amazing so we have the car has 20 years left on the road there are four seats in the car and the color of the car is red amazing there we go so you can mess around with this to whatever extent you want you know you could find out what the manufacturer of the car is um you know what <laughs> what his service history is like i don't know something very very simple like that um anything anything that you want with this class um the reason why i added this on here is just show you another example of how object oriented programming works if you manage to create a class as, as cool as this one then well done full marks to you if you do want a few more you know test your knowledge videos on this channel do let me know but in this video i've shown you how to create a vehicle class with some pretty cool methods inside and also return those specific methods so that has been the video today i hope you did if you want to support this channel even further hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button so you don't miss out on any notifications on this channel or any future videos please give this video a big thumbs up comment any questions you have in the, in the comment section and i'll do my best to answer and if you want to support this channel even further then there's a donation page in the description thank you for watching and i'll see you all in the next video